Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. I had to get in here and do this reading quick. I was doing a pre-shuffle just to see what your energy is, was, and I was like, whoa, hold on, let me, let me get in here. So let's get to it, Aquarius. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Go ahead and click that like button, Aquarius. All right, so let's see um, the pre-shuffle. Um, initially, we got the first card, the Two of Cups. Never mind my nails, I'm getting them done. Uh, the Two of Cups. Then we got the Temperance card. And then we got the Ten of Pentacles. I was like, whoa, okay, so Aquarius. Some of you have met someone who you could marry. It's going to be a wealthy, healthy marriage. Like, this is your yin to your yang, your yang to your yin. This is who you're supposed to be with. This is someone who's going to bring a lot of balance into your life. Could be King of Cups, Libra, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be anybody, though. Um, could be Sagittarius also. Could come around Sagittarius season. Uh, don't get hung up on the signs. This is someone who you could be with for a very long time with the temperance and the ten of pentacles with the two of cups. And at the bottom of the deck is the ace of cups. So it's like, whoa, this is definitely new, new energy. Some of you have been manifesting this. You are manifesting this. It, it's, it's here. It's here for the taking. Just walk into the newness. Now, for some of you, this is going to be you marrying yourself to a spiritual practice that's going to bring you into long-term goal, goal, achievement, money, uh, longevity, financial security. This is the transference of wealth. There could be even angelic presence who's going to speak to your soul, speak to your heart, to your mind in regards to what you need to do to bring in wealth for yourself. Because with the Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck, it talks about a spiritual practice, studying spirituality, just being kind of filled, filled with spirit. So now you know how to manifest. Now you know, um, this is like heart chakra work also. So now you know how to manifest. Uh, you know, your heart is clear, you know, light as a feather. Let's see what this is about. Yeah, some of you have changed your mind. This could even be you changing your mind about your spiritual practice. Um, this is also you changing your mind. You got some new information, new knowledge of. This could even be indicative of a new person changing your mind about. Maybe you thought it was going to be that old person, the old flame from yesteryear that you guys were going to run off into the sunset and get married. But now you've met someone new. And that for some of you, this could be the study of spiritual spirituality, religion, and now you're incorporating new idea. And so it's going to bring you into a place of abundance, transference of wealth. Wealth is also knowledge, you know. Let's see. Emotions. Okay, yes, yeah, someone has stirred your emotions. Uh, so this definitely could be love here. Uh, you're emotional about maybe this new practice or this new person. Uh, this new person uh, has helped um, you deal with your emotions also. Uh, the emotions you feel for this person, are, you feel like it's, it's you can um, allow yourself to feel, you can allow yourself to love. Uh, you don't feel like you need to be on guard is what I'm getting with this card here. You've also done some self-care work with that pink showing up. Like you've done, the, yeah, whoa, can't make it up, leaving. This card literally says leaving toxic relationship behind leaving toxicity behind so some of you have done the heart chakra healing work you're leaving toxicity behind you're moving into something new better for you um something um that's going to um maybe usher in a lot of uh i'm feeling like love devotion money i don't know you could even be marrying someone who has money someone could be coming into your life in that capacity one more card yeah you're stronger than you know it was just about you understanding your strength knowing who you are sentimental feelings leftover residual feelings maybe for the past it's like some of you need to have the courage to separate cut ties move forward you might even need to join in maybe self-help group a group of individuals that share your same uh maybe zest for life or your same issue um, for some of you this is what what needs to happen so this would be joining a group of people this could even be some of you joining a coven or joining a 
This could be Wicca. I don't know. It could be anything. This is some of you joining like-minded individuals who share your same, um, maybe belief, way of life, uh, just your same practice. This also could be maybe you joining a group. This could even be like online dating or a matchmaker. You're going to meet someone that, you know, shit, shit, knocks your socks off. Like, they're just everything. What is the future holding for Aquarius? What is happening for Aquarius here? Whoa, it fell out into my hand. Wealthy man and community. So it's like you join a group of people, and then, I don't know, you meet this wealthy man, you get work for this person, or you get meet them in, in, in terms of work. I don't know. It could be, you could be the wealthy man also. You could meet someone who's working for you and, and that's who you marry. Thoughts. Yeah, this person, this could, this could be a person who's in your like friend group or someone kind of an extension away from you, a friend of a friend it could be watching you thinking about, are you single? Should I reach out? Should I, you know, make the effort? Yeah, is it going to be too much hard work? Or someone's watching you do a lot of hard work, okay? They're watching you put in a lot of time, a lot of effort, and they may be thinking about how they can help you. Wow, a pathway was coming in for you, a new pathway to great fortune, and it could come by way of a lover or love relationship, or maybe you even, like, a life-altering choice to... This is definitely a relationship. It's something that you pray for, Aquarius. Wow. Um, I was trying to get everybody, but it looks like this is love. It looks, I'm not getting any type of feeling of old, like an old person resurfacing and they, they got it together and they're going to come back and get you. No, I feel like this is new. This is someone who's been watching you or someone who knows you or knows of you or this is someone who's trying to figure out if they should come to, towards you, what should Aquarius know moving forward? Wow, the emperor, okay? So somebody is, you know, um, a boss in their own right, has done a lot of work, could have already been married before, could be have their own empire. They want you to be a part of it. This could be someone who has a lot of people under them. This could even be you coming into your power, understanding. Sometimes I get the emperor for earth angel. I don't know if some of you are realizing that you're an earth angel. You're going to get into understanding your power. We talked about that with the spiritual practice. Seven of pentacles. Yeah, there's somebody waiting um, or something waiting for something to mature or they're waiting for you to leave or waiting for you to, uh, waiting for the perfect timing. Somebody's just accepted that like, okay, now is not the right timing. Um, if something is going to mature, maybe your spell work, four of swords, someone wants you to leave someone or present opportunity for them to come in with the four of swords. Um, someone's waiting for the opportunity to, what is this? Nine of swords, you got somebody definitely, this talk about secret admirer, someone watching you from afar, they've been through a lot, they're unsure if they want to, you know, they're unsure of themselves, they're not really unsure of you, it's like they're watching you, it's like they you know, they're healing or they just got out of something. They just got out of a relationship. What is the advice for Aquarius? Um, don't give up, Aquarius, some big miracle, something that you've been praying for happens. Yep, high priestess. You're in a, a phase of gestation, a, a gestation phase. Like the universe is impregnating you with something and then you're going to give it, give birth to it. This could be... You know, just, um, this is occult knowledge. This is secret knowledge. This is esoteric knowledge. Wow, Queen of Cups, this is psychic abilities. This is Five of Wands coming up. This could even be magic or fighting for what you think you want. Two of Wands, 270, and that's definitely magic or like putting something out there or making the magic happen in your life or standing on your ground, not giving up. It's like the universe wants you to not give up because they're behind you. They want you to see that the grass is greener on the other side. Continue to fight to clear your heart chakra, to heal, to forgive, to let go, uh, to stop holding grudge, to um, opportunity for new love, new marriage also. Six of Cups for a new soulmate. 
okay? Um, but they want you to heal emotionally. Emotional maturity needs to happen with you. Um, you need to declutter your emotions. You need to connect backwards also. What in your past is holding you up in your present? Yep, because it's going to allow for you to move forward. Six of Swords. Come out of feeling used, abused, or like things are happening to you. It's happening for you. The trying of your faith. Endurance builds character. Something is over. You understand that negative way of existing, being in negative relationships is over. But you have to really believe it. You got a new person coming in here. So it's like you're at the end. Oh, this is crossroads. So uh, the end and then the beginning, right? So look at that. I split the deck, the end, and then there's your new beginning, the page of cards. Something new. Clairvoyance. You're developing your clairvoyance. Also, your intuition. Psychic abilities. So that you can better discern. Looks like just all things good, Aquarius. Uh, who is Aquarius moving forward? And we'll close out with this. Who is Aquarius moving forward? What card best represent the Aquarius moving forward? Okay. Earth guardian. I told you you're earth angel with that emperor card. Stay rooted and grounded, Aquarius. And then uh, direction guardian. Choose your path. There's you, the earth angel. And then there's Scorpio, there's Taurus, and Leo. The cherubim. You, you, this is, that is. Wow. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Some of you are really understanding cycle of life, mystery of life, the tarot, how to use it, how to use esoteric knowledge symbols. Some of you about to unlock some keys. Like, you about to get the keys to the universe, because it always belonged to you, especially if you're in like an earth angel, 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 earth guardian, and then earth, earth, there on that card, and then we got the angel, which is your symbol, Aquarius, the man's face with the wings, man, Aquarius, you're supposed to come into understanding who you are, why you're here, and then you're going to come into power. Because um, it was like the universe, things were halted, or you didn't get what you wanted. I, um, Sirius. Look up Sirius. Sir, Sirius? What's this? What's the old ruler of uh, Scorpio? Don't quote, quote me on that, but. else is coming out Gemini is coming out Gemini is coming out um, so this is um, a mutable sign so it's like oh you're mutating changing form maybe even molecular DNA I don't know, understanding your DNA. That's why you have the Six of Cups are connecting backwards in regards to who you are. Again, a lot of the high vibe in Aquarius have been taking over these readings, okay? So I'm sorry for those who just want to know about Scorpio now coming out. Yeah, this is like, you're going to know who you are. This is like the underbelly, underworld. Deep dive. And that's a fixed sign also. Could be fixated and so you're sometimes mutating and then you're gonna become fixed in knowing who you are. Wow. With the will of fortune presenting itself, changing your mind.
something changes for you around Sagittarius season, the Wheel of Fortune, Pisces, Sagittarius, God of the sky, thunder, protector, Jupiter's gravitational force protects other planets from comets and asteroids. You can have growth, development, good luck, freedom, morality, jovility, or I could be pronouncing that incorrectly, but you'll be jovial, humility. Some of you are to come into this is psychic awareness, will of fortune. So you gotta get some knowledge about something that changes your mind, that changes your entire life, changes your entire scope. You could also be meeting the one, a soulmate, that does this for you. So that you could be meeting someone new and they do this for you. It's like you could like I'm I'm wiping my eyes right now. My face is clear, it's clean. But it's like, I don't know, it's like you are going to see clearly or see who you are clearly or see what you, I don't know, Aquarius. This is like deep dive, heavy duty work. You're going to understand who you are. There's a lot of symbols on this guy. Like you can start using different symbols and you start understanding. Is it focusing? There's some symbols there. Understanding who you are. Symbolic. It's more symbolic. Aquarius, get your own personal reading. Looks like somebody's coming in for you. There's also some good opportunities. Uh, luck. Uh, it's, it's whatever you're doing, whatever new spiritual practice. Looks like it's where you should be. It's you going to, you returning home. There's reunion. So this is, maybe you didn't know you were earth angel or that you were divinely inclined. I don't know. Like you have power. You can talk about reunion. So that means you were already in union and now you're going to reunite. Definitely going to be learning something around the clock. It's going to make you renew and bring in manifestation. You're going to be a student to this game of maybe how to use herbs, crystals, the tarot, divination practice. Something's happening fast for you. If you're willing to make the sacrifice and let Maybe hard work or tough work or wandering or just just being on auto autopilot, let it go. Cause it's something on the other side. Something was keeping you stuck. You didn't want to see it or you funny, I was wiping my eyes and then her eyes are blindfolded. So it's like I don't know if you're gonna like stop being blindfolded to something or stop not realizing something. Stop resting in fantasy, start learning, and then have victory, long-term achievement, and success. This could even be somebody going for something. Like, you're not going to start just, stop, you're going to stop wishing for it and actually do it. It talks about wishful thinking, not enough action. You're going to bet on yourself, choose you, start something. Against all odds, five of swords. Against other people's better judgment or them talking about you, you're still going to start something. Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. I mean, Ace of Pentacles with the Star card. The universe is handing you something, opportunity to take your rightful place in the universe. In the sky, in the this is trial, tribulation, whatever happened, the karma is over, the curse is broken, and now you can have wish fulfillment, balance. You come back into your angelic state of being. All of a sudden, there's like extreme happiness, abundance, 
growth. You wear a crown. Things are growing. Prosperity. Because of some knowledge. Because you question. Somebody here is going to be questioning. How did you do this? Um, someone's also going to be left out. Or feeling like they can't be a part of it. Or they're not a part of it. Someone's definitely going to be acquired. Like inquiring about your money or your strength or how did you do or or your knowledge. Knowledge of the tarot. How'd you turn a negative into a positive? How did you like jump a timeline or bend space and time? Like how'd you make something happen so quickly? Again, your sign is showing up Aquarius. Yeah, how did you complete karma? Where'd you get this knowledge from, this inspired thought? <sighs> Aquarius, bye. Have a good one. Um, all links are below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. It's Friday and I want a coffee. <laughs> If you feel moved to uh, donate to the channel, do so. So we get new cards. We can get all kinds of different things. It's all reinvested in the channel. Um, the link is below. It says buy Ella coffee. Uh, if you want to connect with me in regards to business and if I can help you establish yourself in business or continue your business, go ahead and sign up for the complimentary discovery call. Um, you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 930 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you to all of the places where I have high viewership, and that is New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, London, Florida, Missouri, Minnesota, Houston, Atlanta, Philadelphia, Australia, all right? So thank you. Um, take care, many blessings, and don't forget to click the like button.